hello everyone welcome back to mrs dre food channel i hope everyone is doing well today in this recipe i'm going to show you how to make the very best and the tastiest Ghanaian domedo or the Ghanaian grilled pork in two different ways so if you are interested let's get right into it and i'll see you later on so for this recipe i have got some pork shoulder joints I'm also going to use some pork belly slice. I've got some beef flavoring stock, some pork seasoning, aromatic seasoning, all-purpose seasoning. I'm also going to add some salt to taste. You can also add some dried rosemary if you like it, but I didn't this time. So I've got scotch bunny peppers, fresh ginger, onions, garlic, and some scallions or salad onions. So this is all I'm going to use for this recipe in one cube. So the first thing I'm going to do is to wash my pork shoulder joint, although you don't have to do it, but I always prefer to have it washed. So I'm just doing it with some cold water and wash it thoroughly. And then I'm going to pat dry it with some kitchen towel and that's it so I am going to make a few cuts on the back of the meat because this part is usually very hard so doing it this way will help cut down the roasting time so once I have done that um, for the meaty parts I just like to also cut it into some pieces you know but you do the way you like it is because i want it to roast quickly but you don't have to do this you can just leave it whole all right so that's ready and now on to my pork belly slices so i also just like to cut it into small pieces but again you can leave it whole and I have also preheated my oven at 170 degrees Celsius. So the next step is to put everything in your blender. So this recipe is very, very easy. And you can also add more spices if you like. So now I'm going to add a third cup of water, some beef seasoning stuff. I am also going to add some pork seasoning. I've got here my all-purpose seasoning and my aromatic seasoning and some salt and I am also going to add a seasoning cube next I am going to blend it until it is very smooth like this and then I am going to pour it on the meat so I'm just using half of it uh, now and then I'm going to marinate it so make sure you marinate it very well and then I'm going to cover it with some cling film and leave it in the fridge for about one hour to two hours so it depends on how quickly you need it but if you really want it marinated well just leave it as long as you can so for the pork belly slices I am also going to add my pepper mixture here and this is the other way I wanted to show you. So I'm going to stir it, okay? And then I am going to cook it just like that. Okay, so I'm just adding the lid and cook it for about 15, 20 minutes. And this is how the meats look like here. So this is after 10 minutes. And I am just going to give it a little stir to make sure it doesn't burn and it smells so good guys so now I am going to deep fry it if you don't want to deep fry it you don't have to do it you can also pop it straight in the oven after cooking it but this is the second method I wanted to show you and now it is ready so I'm going to keep it aside on the kitchen towel hey guys so this is my pork here and it's been in the fridge for about one hour and 30 minutes and I'm going to put it on my roasting tray and pop it in the oven 
for about one hour to one and a half hours or until I am completely satisfied with the way my meat looks okay so it will depend on your oven type as well hey friends so this is my roasted pork and look at this it looks amazing it is nicely roasted nice and soft it smells amazing I'm telling you you are going to love this recipe because it's just amazing really really amazing so now this is how I like to serve it so I use my asanka I have some slices of the roasted one the fried one and then I'm going to sprinkle some suya or kebab spices some fresh onions on the side and this is it guys so you know what's left now some fried yam with some shito and hot pepper sauce hot green pepper sauce this is all you need for this recipe and even if you don't want the yam just eat it like this but make sure you've got your pepper next to you hey guys thank you so much for watching this recipe and i really hope you are going to enjoy it because it is really nice don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on your notification bells and i'll see you next time bye I'm